Good day to all. I am Deepak. I am very happy to expose this project to a wonderful audience. This project topic is innovative smart dustbin. Before explaining about this project, I wish to say few uh, inspiration words to do this project. This month we are very proud to be an Indian because we have launched a Chandrayaan 3 to the moon. We have succeeded in that. Because of this, many countries made appreciate on us, but few countries made comment on it. Allo comment matto na ma India le rukera basic issue apathi soli nanga. Allo ang sonda issue India is a beautiful country where they are doing wonderful job in the space research work, but they are weak in sanitation. Allo the suga dara tanmai le weak karke na soli nanga. And the waste separation method, that is recyclable, non-recyclable waste, la separate from the technology we are talking about. So, I decided to solve this problem using two wonderful technology. The first one is computer vision. Computer vision is nothing but a vision of a machine which can be able to, where we can train the machine, after that it can be able to identify the items. And to enhance this project, I have used IoT intelligence where it can monitor and control the electronic appliances. The first step of our project is to identify the type of waste by using machine learning technology. In machine learning technology, I have used Teachable machine which is available in Google. Where we can train this machine to identify the waste after training the machine. This model can be able to identify the type of waste. Then uh, this machine will send the appropriate signal to the hardware part using the PyCharm. PyCharm is a tool where we can connect the computer vision and the hardware part using serial communication. Serial communication, for example, it is a master slave uh, connection system. So when the a uh, signal is sent to the hardware system this is a conveyor belt model which can, uh, which has a uh, node mcu which is a microcontroller which can control the conveyor belt according to the signal for example if one the number signal when the recyclable waste are mentioned then the conveyor belt will move in this forward direction then the if it is a non recyclable it will move in opposite direction so uh if this part is uh, taken by the node mcu which is a microcontroller now i will uh, explain uh, how it is practically work when we place this cart which is made up of paper in this conveyor belt it can able to identify it is a recyclable waste as well as see this uh, user interface monitor which i have designed uh, with my college name that it, it can show Whether it is a recyclable or non-recyclable in this place. So now I will place this cord in this conveyor belt. You can see it is a recyclable waste and it will move in this forward direction. And another example, uh, I will put this uh, fabricute cover which is a non-recyclable waste in the belt. Then it will move in opposite direction. Yes, you can see it is a residual or a non-recyclable waste, and it will move in the opposite direction. So it is fully automatic technology where the computer vision will uh, identify the waste and move the conveyor belt according to it. In this video, I have told that I have used IoT intelligent. um for explaining it this is the blink uh, server where the node mcu send the data to this uh, cloud server um you can see this uh, chart representation in the tv this uh, chart representation will help the administration for example if in the project na in our college la or any place a school la uh, present panitana the administration or my college administration come to know amount of type of waste for example how many uh, times the recyclable waste which the students putting or evlo vand non recyclable waste nam collect pandrom the administration can able to know using this uh, graphical representation and 
IoT is not only monitoring, it need to control. So I have include these uh, buttons if a person uh, will uh, know whether it is a recyclable or the person need to control it by uh, human intelligence. They can touch these buttons, recyclable and residual button. They can control it by human intelligence. For example, now I will uh, click this recycle button. It will move in the, the conveyor belt move in forward direction. You can see the conveyor belt is moving the forward direction. As well as when we press this belt, uh, this button, it will move in opposite direction. You can now see it will move in the opposite direction. So, this is our project. My main motivation is to inspire or to teach the college or school students to know about the importance of base management. Base management pati school and college students pati every one scientifically on the pati the pati on the importance of the project na pariyirka. So I want to uh, thank my parents and my friends who help in this project who motivates us to do this project. Uh, this is uh, this is the project explanation and I I am thanking you all for patiently seeing my project explanation video. So if you want any details of this project kindly comment it I can help with you and um, finally thank you all help others with a smile thank you.